Hello Aries, this is your uh, July 2018 reading. Take it into consideration, this may not resonate with all Aries individuals, but I'm hoping to get as many as possible, reach many as, as possible. So this is your reading, Aries, July 2018. Aries, July 2018. Oops. It's these cards. Possibly... No holding back, possibly with a new off, a new offer coming towards you, a stable offer. You got the truce card. That's four swords. It's in reverse, but what is crossing it is the ace of disc. I'm gonna say that's in reverse. You may be wanting a new offer, not wanting to hold back. Could have to do with finances. Let's uh, shuffle these just a little bit more. Those popped out, so I was using them. And I had already mentioned Aries, so thought I'd use it. We'll find out for sure, though. The Emperor in reverse. You're feeling kind of in reverse as the overall beginning energy. You're not feeling 100% like you have control in your life, possibly. The goal, the Prince, the Prince of Cups, you could be dealing with a uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. A lot of times this is a uh, Scorpio, and when I do in my own personal readings, everybody's different, every reader is different, but that is your goal, and I'll clarify why it's there with my other deck, but I'm going to go with the foundation. What is the foundation that is going on right now? The foundation of this reading for July 2018 for Aries. Knight of Cups definitely has to do with the water energy. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a water sign, but they're definitely taking that energy. The foundation is the Knight of Cups. Someone could be coming at you with an offer that is of a water sign. They may make an offer, an emotional offer, a friendship. could be anything. But you know who this person is. In the past, let's find out what's in the past for Aries. Messages going back and forth, talking, internet, uh, text messaging, emails, going back and forth. So you were communicating. We'll clarify that in a minute also with somebody. Near future, next few days to three weeks. You may break up a, a break off a partnership, but I also need a clarifying card for that. I'm going to put four more out. I'm going to turn them over because I want to find out the clarification cards of these first, and then we'll go on to the next. But that you got the two of cups there is in reverse in the next few weeks, few days, few weeks. I'm trying to think of this as a fast energy. It's hard telling. I need clarifying cards for the Four of Swords and the Ace of Disc crossing it. For, Ari for Aries, July 2018, the subject at hand. Page of Wands. Something's got you a little turned around. Maybe things aren't moving as fast as you want them to. I do some, see a little bit of uh, quick energy here. What's your, why is the goal the Prince of Cups? In reverse. Why is that the goal? I'm feeling you're trying to turn around a situation that's kind of got you offset. Maybe somebody lost tempers or just really impatient. The world card in reverse. That's, uh, it's not an ending. You're not wanting to end something with this Prince of Cups. You're trying to turn around a certain situation. Ace of Wands. Why is eight, I mean, Eight of Wands. In the past, why are you there? Eight of Wands. Why are you there? Strength. Yeah, someone was losing strength. Maybe they were losing confidence into something. And therefore, communications went back and forth. Maybe you lost your trust. Maybe you thought someone was bowing on you. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Give me one more card for the... Eight of Wands and the Strength card that's in reverse clarifying it. Give me another card. 
Yeah, it's like someone's not making you the offers you want. Or maybe you don't like the offers they, they gave you or the options. Foundation is the Knight of Cups. Why are you there, Knight of Cups? Hierophant could be over a contract that didn't work out. Maybe someone else is wanting to make a contract with you. And maybe you do not want to go with it. Because you got the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, you're not wanting to go with something or someone's not wanting to go with you. There's the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So there's Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups in the near future? The Empress. Yeah, you don't see any growth in this situation. Whatever offer is being made, I'm moving this table up so we can see better. Whatever this offer is, you don't you don't see it for you that it's best for you right now. And then I'm talking about in the next few days to the next few weeks. Possible future outcome. Advice card. Could be advice. Got the two of wands. This is taking domination over the situation, taking control over your life, and making a choice. And a, a, a you know, one that requires a lot of energy and being uh, really expressing yourself. Two of Wands, why are you there for Aries? Aries, are you wearing? No, that's your card. Page of Cups, yeah, you're going to, it's telling you to make a decision. And it's probably one you like because you got the Page of Cups. Maybe it's with this younger person. And again, this is a lot of water energy here, Aries, that you're dealing with. Because you got the two of wands and the page of cups here. So it could be making a decision on this offer. Deciding to make this offer and go with it. And really go with it. Go forward. Don't don't hold back. What is coming towards you is the three of wands or what people are thinking. People may be thinking you're not accepting any offers, that you're just being hard on, on every situation around you. You're not... Uh, they think that good things could come to you, but you're just not accepting them. They're, they're seeing this in you. But it's not that you're not accepting them. You're just doing your own thing. Three of Wands. Why are you in reverse? Why are you, why are you the outside environment? Lover's card. Could be a past lover, too, that is thinking this. Or someone who loves you. Or someone that is committed to you in some way, whether family, friends, I don't see it as a work environment. I'm thinking that's the family around you. It could be a partner. You're thinking that you're letting your ships pass by. Maybe there was an offer and maybe you didn't like it and you didn't want to accept it and people don't understand why. Your hopes and fears are a queen of swords. This could be an air sign. It could be a, uh, a Libra, Gemini. Aquarius. A lot of times that's Aquarius in mine, but in my readings, but this is for the masses. It doesn't have to be. But you fear this Queen of Swords in reverse, and if the Queen of Swords is in reverse, you, I can see why you would fear her. She's not someone you want to mess with. I mean, she's she. It's not that they're very intelligent people, but if they they feel a little put out, they they may go after you a little bit, and they may say harsh words. So you may be fearing harsh words from a Queen of Swords or a harsh decision from the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords there in reverse? Your fear, hopes, and fears. I'm thinking it's your fear or maybe your hope that the Queen of Swords will turn around. Queen of Swords again. Yes, you're a big fear of the Queen of Swords. Give me another card. We know you fear the Queen of Swords or hope for the Queen of Swords in reverse. I don't see you hoping for that, but some people do. Queen of Swords, why are you in reverse? Sun card. Yeah, you're hopeful. Maybe to turn that situation around. Towards the end of July, a little bit after that, you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm thinking you're wanting to turn down a situation because you don't think it'll bring you wealth. Or good tidings. And other people think that maybe you're passing up a good thing. Or vice versa. You just don't think it's a good option for you? Maybe? We'll find out. This could go a little past July. Remember, this is uh, the near future right here. Okay? And this could go past, you know, this ten of uh, pentacles can go past July. 
we always say the month because that's the month we're giving the reading for, but realize that things just don't clear up in a month a lot of times. So the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, why are you there? King of Pentacles. Yeah, that King of Pentacles is someone who is stable, sound, upright. They know their finances. So they, I'm feeling for a lot of you, not all of you, but a lot of you, that you're realizing that something is not profitable for you and you may turn it down and that people around you are, th are going to think you're nuts for doing it. But apparently you are the King of Pentacles and you know what you're doing. You know what you want in life and you're not going to just waste your money just on anything. And you may, like I said, turn down an offer that other people are thinking is a good deal, but you know it's not for you. One more card for the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles knows what they want. It also could be an earth sign, but I'm thinking this is your energy that you're just not going to work with a situation that is not profitable for you, whether it be finances, love, anything. You're just going to wait it out. I'm thinking of, for a lot of you, it is finances. Yeah, you don't see it as a happy situation. I'm feeling that big time that you're going to turn down an offer that is not good for you. Let me do for the near future one more card because you got the Empress and the Love card in reverse. It's pretty much telling me you do not like the situation coming up. You do not think it's going to... Yeah, you're going to get an offer, of a financial offer, and you may turn it down because it's not... There is an Ace of Pentacles in reverse again. You're going to turn down an offer that is not good for you, and you're doing the, apparently possibly the right thing. Even though people around you may say you're crazy, you should go with it. You're going to do what you want to do, Aries. And... Um, you got a good head on your shoulders. So there you go. Talk to you later. Bye.